Hello guys, welcome back to more Pokemon Train Pro. This is episode 20. Let's go. Uh, this time I'll put my, my glasses. Just the candy tree. Alright. Yeah, so we, last time we unlocked the following feature in Heart Home City. And we'll just do a quick summary. So yeah, here you go. Up first, we got Celia the Jirachi, Steel Psychic type, level 24. It's a rash nature found in Florida in a town like Tripood. Here it's test, it has the ability to ring grace, which boosts the likelihood of additional effects occurring when attacking. Finally, got the, um, the moves Confusion, Swift, Wish, and Life Do. Here it's stats and abilities. And it's a rash nature found in Florida in a town like Tripood. And it's Celia the Jirachi, uh, Steel Psychic type, level 24. Up next, we got Pop the Primplup, Water type level 27, the item Quick Claw, and the item to be beheld by Pokemon, the Slight Sharp Claw, the Spear Move for first occasionally. He's a quiet nature, found like Verity, and likes dry food. Here are stats, and he has the ability Torrent, which powers that water type moves when the Pokemon's HP is low. Finally, got the most probably Metal Claw Charm and Workup. Here are stats and ability. So he's a quiet nature, found like Verity, likes dry food. He's Pop the Primplup. Water type level 27 with the iron quick claw. Next, we got Surge Alexio, electric type level 25. He's a docile nature found in 202, likes to eat anything. Here's stats and ability rivalry, becomes competitive and deals more damage to Pokemon of the same gender but deals less damage to Pokemon of the opposite gender. Finally, got the move Spark Bite, Leer, and Charge. Here's stats and ab ability. He's a docile nature found in 202, likes to eat anything. And finally, he's Surge Alexio, electric type level 25. Next, we got Xander the Roselia, Grass Poison type, level 24. He's a serious nature from a turn of force, likes to eat anything. Here's stats and ability, an ability natural cure, all stats condition, conditions, heal when Pokemon switches out. Finally, got the most absorbs, absorb growth, stunts for and flash. Here's stats and ability, his stats and abilities. He's serious nature, found a turn of force, likes to eat anything, and he's sound here, there's Zelia, grass poison type level 24. Next we got Yuichi the Veneri, normal type level 25. He's an animal nature, light, um, found a turn of force, and likes spicy food. Here he stats, and he has the ability to clutch, um, the Pokemon can use any held items. Finally got the moves, he has the moves, double kick, quick attack, defense curl, and baby to lives. Wait. Yeah, and here is stats and ability. He's an adamant nature found in turn forest, like spicy food, and he's been Iwichi the Miniri, normal type level 25. Next, finally got Sally the Zubat, I mean not Zubat, ugh. Sally the Crobat, my bad. Sally the Crobat, poison flying type, level 25. She's a jolly nature found in Ravage Path and likes sweet food. Here are stats, and has, she has the ability, in her focus, the Pokemon becomes intensely focused. And that protect, protects the Pokemon from punching. Finally, she got the moves um, Cross Poison, Pluck, Mean Look, I mean, Absorb, and Mean Look. Here are stats and abilities. She's a Jolly Nature, nature from Ravage Path, like Sweet Food, and she's Sally the Crobat Poison, playing type level 25. Yeah, I made a few mistakes there because I was trying to go faster than usual. But yeah, today we'll be exploring. Yeah, I don't want to talk to Fantina right now, but but today we'll be exploring the Heart Home City. We cannot battle the gym yet because, uh, yeah, we need to go further on the game. So yeah, from the second to the third gym, it's really far, but then third to the fourth, and then fourth to the fifth is really not that far. And then, yeah, six is not that bad. Seventh is, yeah, the, one of the longer ones, and then eight is shorter. So yeah, there's some shorter, some longer, which is like a mix. So. So yeah, let's go back to the beginning of the city. Yeah. One, two, step. One, two, flip. And turn. Me peevee. You're a trainer, aren't you? You've got two choices of challenges. Either a gym or a super contest show, right? Yeah. What about it? You're very pleased, aren't you? Warmer time. Alright, let's check on forward. 
Hi, hi. Do you want a Pokemon egg? They found this at the Pokemon nursery in Solacion Town. Want to take it? Yeah, hold up. You don't have enough room for, for the egg. Fine. Yep. This is this is what I heard about eggs. If you take that egg and travel with energetic Pokemon, it will hatch. I remember someone announced that Professor Elm of Johto, maybe. Ooh, Professor Elm. So he's from the Johto region. Uh, I might swap Zangier. So Zangier is not officially on the team. I'm gonna put Eevee. If this is an Eevee egg, that'll make my um yeah it'll make my time easier for finding one so yeah i'm visiting here all the way from the Hoenn region i had been hoping to find the contest hall but being new i lost my way fortunately the local people people the local people very kindly led me to my destination destination i was impressed by their kindness and, and generosity to a complete stranger now may i may i offer you the courtesy of showing you to the contest hall? No. Oh, I do apologize. I should mind my own business. No, no, no. It's not that. It's just that I just want to explore the city here. There are, there are the super contest shows. Then we have Amity Square. We have visitors from all over, so we need to keep the city looking nice. Cool. People from all over the world follow super contest shows. What should I do? I should, I, I could captivate the whole world. Mm -hmm. Captivate them all. So yeah, today we'll be exploring yeah, our home city. Very big city, so yeah. Might take all episode because of how big it is. So yeah. I have something for a Pokemon to hold. Take this shell bow. Obtain the shell bow. Put the shell bow in your other pocket. The Pokemon that's holding the shell bow will regain HP a little by inflicting damage. It was given to me by when I was on vacation, but I already had one. Pee pee. One fan club, all trainers welcome. Kuku, pee pee, again with the pee pee. Gua 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 gua. Welcome to the Pokemon fan club. Oh, you're Celia. It's very friendly, friendly to you, toward you. I can, I can tell you, I can tell you treat it too kindly. Yeah, I think she's a friendship judger. Hello, hello. How how I say? How do you do? I'm the Pokemon Fan Club Chairman. Indeed, yes I am. When you wish to, to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what I say do you do? If I may say so, and I will, I feed Puffins to my Pokemon. And why I say would I do that? Because the giving of Puffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give a sweet Puffin, the Pokemon eating it will become more cute. For example, a spicy Poffin will add to the coolness of a Pokemon. In such ways, I say that Poffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this Poffin case to be a gift from me to you. You obtain the Poffin case. Nice. Put the Poffin case in your bag scan, Poffin. I urge you to fill it with Poffins and be generous in, dis in dispensing them to your Pokemon. Nationwide, there are other fan clubs, but we are number one. And why are we number one? Because I brag more than anyone. And not, but now, I can't brag as much. People started complaining, so I've had to curtail my bragging. Yeah, okay, never mind. Alright. 
try to do a little different voice acting. Not very good at voice acting, but I like it, I guess. I could feel the baby stroller getting heavier each and every day. I wonder what kind of Pokemon my child will become friends with first. Um, the Poffin House. Delicious Poffin smiles for all. So let's explore this next. Hello. Here you may cook berries and turn them into Poffins. Nothing. Please cook, visit again when you ha get the urge to cook. Yeah, we'll do that after here. Eating good food makes eating good food eating good food makes people and Pokemon more energetic and happy. In that case, we're exactly alike. Have you got some berries? To make delicious puffins, the key ingredient is a rare berry. Also, puffins will come out yummy if you cook berries as quickly as possible, but will but still slowly enough that you don't spill the batter. All right. Let's get cooking. Here's my advice on cooking tasty poppins for your burrito crew. In the beginning, while it's still a batter, swirl it gently and avoid spillage. When it starts to harden, turn it fast in big circles. But the end, make it wish for it to turn scrunchies when warm it. <laughs> my, uh, everybody's gonna get a laugh out of that because I know I did. My voice is so cringy. Okay, anyways. Yeah. Yeah, like. Oh, wait, hold on. Throw your berry into the pot and start and get stirring. Watch for an arrow to, to show you which direction to stir. Um, be quick if you stir too slowly, you'll burn the batter. Not too quick. If you stir too fast, the batter will overflow. If you do well, you'll cook up a delicious puffin. By the way, you can also make puffins at Amity Square. Mm, let's see. There you go. Yeah. Two, one. So yeah, just gotta follow the arrow. So basically, look, look what I'm doing. And basically, you follow the direction of the arrow for puffin making. Like what she said, so yeah. So yeah, make sure the batter doesn't overflow. You see how it's like, see the, the peachish one? So yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm not good at this while recording and explaining. Okay, okay, I'm doing my best. Okay, yeah, it's a little burned, but... It's burned seven times. Mm, no, not right now. Please cut, visit again whenever you get the urge to cook. Where's my pocket? Oh, it's in my puffin case, I guess. I guess that's where we keep the puffins. Ooh, we already got some puffins. So yeah, here's Pop. He'll get one. Because it's a starter. Make the puffin. Coolness was enhanced, beauty was enhanced. So yeah, there's puffins with multiple um personality things that can increase. So depending on the puffin, there's some puffins that can increase all of the personalities, like cool, spice, like cool, sweet, like yeah, you know, beauty and all that stuff. Yeah, those. Give one to Celia.
Nice, coolness and beauty. Surge. Yeah, there's toughness, cleverness, and cuteness. Those personalities, if you have them, if you like have poffins for them, you can you can feed all five. There's many like multiple personalities you can feed them. So yeah, finally we'll feed Yuichi. Yuichi happily ate the poffin, and yeah, coolness and beauty was enhanced. All right, let's can you continue onwards? Sorry. I used the water stone on my Pokemon, and it evolved. The Puffin House, delicious, delicious Puffin, delicious Puffins, smiles for all. Ooh, this looks like a, like a church for Pokemon. People, I mean Pokemon people. It's only natural that we are all so very different. Make sure that way, that you never judge a Pokemon based on whether it's weak or strong. You must always look for the good good inside of them. That's what counts. Yeah. Inside over outside. The art of crafting things fatigues one's spirit. When the spirit is healed, the desire to make something returns. It's such a wondrous cycle. There are still words that not everyone can describe. The words are love and joy. When people in Pokemon join hands, everyone's happy. Um, it makes everyone come together. It could even make the world one. Right. That that people are lonely. It's only natural. It gives me compassion for others. It's what makes me look forward to a better tomorrow. But there are still moments of fondness for the past. Time can heal can heal some sadness though. And th there do I see my father, my son, my life. And there do I see nature, Pokemon, the world. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Oh yeah. Yeah, I wonder what Pokemon that is. Oh yeah, we already explored here. Explore that, explore that. Lining up my favorite statues in my underground base is what I live for. I'd like to live in her home city, but when I get married, my boyfriend wants to live in Veilstone because of its department store. I went for a stroll in Amity Square with my Patrice today. We came across a cute sticker while we walked. Do you think placing this on my Patrice's ball capsule will make my Patrice look even cuter? Eh, depending on the sticker, yeah. Amity Square West Gate, stroll with your Pokemon. Ooh, found a tiny mushroom. Nice. Yep. See, there's this, this is the problem, see? When you push them, it, like, yeah, they don't return. Yeah, there's the gym. When I take my baby on out on in his stroller, I see the town a different way. I notice things like like stairs and bumps in the sidewalk. A -pa -pa -poo. I lived in total seclusion up in the mountains for thirty years. I'm going to clean up at, the, at some super contest shows at a dance move I came up with. Cool. Our home city Pokemon gym, gym leader Fantina, the alluring, soulful, soulful dancer. I was given a TM for strength at the Lost Tower. The Lost Tower is on Route 209 on the way to Salacion Town. Nice. Oh, it's blocked. There are just so many stickers to place on bottle capsules. I can't decide what I should use. Well, decide one when you have the right time. 
Yeah. Alright, let's start here. Hiya. Oh, I've seen you somewhere before. Oh, what's again? Hold on. Oh, come to me. Oh, yeah, you're the one who was battling those scary looking guys in Jubilee City. I was really curious about you about after that. So I went ahead and did a little research. And then, surprise, surprise, turns out you're connected to the famous Professor Rowan. And you've been going around and defeating, defeating gym leaders too. I seriously thought my eyes were gonna pop out of my head. Oh, sorry. There I go again. There I go running my mouth again. It's me, baby. Do you remember me? Remember me, don't you? I'm the one who gave you uh, those boss capsules. And hey, you know those Pokemon boxes you've been using? I'm the system of it. I'm, uh, those Pokemon system. And hey, do you know you know those Pokemon boxes you've been using? I'm the sister administrator of them. My buddy Bill developed the basic storage system. I just tinkered. I just tinkered with it here and there to make it easier to use. Anyway, now that you're here in Hard Home City, how about trying out a super contest show? Just be sure to use those stickers of yours. Don't you forget. Don't you dare forget. Alright, I will. I will, Missy. Oh. oh wow, you're a Pokemon trainer? Having lots of Pokemon is a around is a lot of responsibility, and that, but that also comes with a lot of fun. When I get bigger, I'm going to be a trainer too. Babies and Pokemon get along perfectly together. When babies take naps, Pokemon go to sleep right next to them. <laughs> yes. Well now, you're a trainer. That makes you both Papa and Mama to your Pokemon. You, you, know, you, you, know, you know how having a Pokemon around leads to new discoveries? It's the same for parents and kids. I'm always learning from my kids. Pikapi. Kufu, 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 kufu. When I grow up, I want to become a Pokemon coordinator. Cool. Babies and oh yeah. I'm going to be a Pokemon trainer too. It's a lot of responsibility. It also comes with a lot of fun. Yes. My sisters get all the attention. No one even knows me. The loner. The loner. Anyways, back. All my grandchildren are clamoring for Pokemon of their own. It may be tricky to manage it, but it will brighten the, up the mood more. Tricky to manage it, but it will brighten the mood more. A world in which people are compassionate to others, and that's all that matters to me. Yes. Oh no, there are no stairs in this house. It's easier that way. The lack of stairs makes it easy for the little Pokemon to get about. Her home is a, is a kid-friendly city, they say, but I disagree. Her home city is friendly to kids, but don't have some Pokemon too. Mm, nice. Don't just seclude the grown-ups. Sorry about that. Alright. 